It is very, very disturbing that you want to do your ritual. You, all those traditionalists and babalawo them want to do ritual that you cannot use your body parts as a man to do ritual. It must be a woman's body part. It must be a baby girl or a female body part. What happened to the male body parts? Your day is, you know, they chop balls or prick. Why can't you tell them, okay, you want to make money, then you have to sacrifice your prick or cut off your one lung or cut off one kidney, use it and do money ritual. Why does it have to be a body part of a girl for them to make money for these guys? Jeremiah Paul, alongside his friends, are the suspects in the alleged murder of a 100-level biology student of the Federal University Lokoja, Ms. Damilola Oluoyo. Mr. Lawyer reportedly went missing on September 4, 2024, after her second semester examination. The suspect had reached out to the family to demand for a ransom of 10 million naira. After days of searching for her, the police recorded a breakthrough with the arrest of the prime suspect, Jeremiah Paul, who led the police to where he reportedly dumped the body of the victim, with most of her vital organs missing. I met her on Sunday, so I approached her, I talked to her, I collected her phone number, so we started chatting, so I told her whenever she's free, she should let me know, so I already had it on mind that I'm going to use that mineral, so I bought codeine as what? ritual, so I bought codeine and Sprite and mixed it up, so I gave it to her. Because I, I, I first drank it so that it did not look like I mixed something inside. So I told her she should follow me so that we should go over to my place. So when I get close to my house, where I live, there was an uncompleted building. So we kneeled on the wall, we were just talking. So gradually, gradually, she's feeling weak. Gradually, gradually, so I took her to the uncompleted building. So I strangled her to death. The knife I used to remove the part of her body, which is the eyes, tongue, lungs, intestine, and some part of her ass. So I put it inside the calabash and I wrap it. So I gave it to the driver, which he sent from Ibadan to get to Lokoja. So he repeated it back to Ibadan. Hello, sweethearts. Welcome back to my channel. You see, I made a video earlier concerning the heart of an average Nigerian. How wicked, how heartless they can be when it comes to battling with the chronic low surface team. They can go any length to achieve the fast way to make it. You see, when it comes to uh, yes, human trafficking to come and uh, to come and do prostitution or trafficking to come and do Yahoo Yahoo <clears throat> or maltreating house helps and all that or doing prostitution and all that. Leave it for the evils. Okay, don't rick. If you check the news, you will find out that the majority of the time, after the evils, the deltas, the evils and the deltans, those leave, leave uh, Yahoo Yahoo prostitution for them. Those ones, they are wicked, so they don't mind you suffering while they are smiling, right? But you see, when it comes to kidnapping, when it comes to rituals, using, using fellow human beings for rituals, buying their fellow citizens or anybody at all, if it needs to buy you to get that money immediately, they don't mind. Leave it for you to buy us. If you check the news of all these ritual cases, buying a girl, cutting her body parts, kidnapping, mass kidnapping, this, that, that, leave it for Yorubas. If you check the news, you'll see that 
majority of the cases, Yorubas. Tell me what a, a, a teenager wants to be a billionaire for. That you will need to lure your fellow students, cut her private, buy, strangled her to buy, cut her private parts in my, her eyes, her intestines, her uh, part of her bo uh, butt, uh, her uh, boobs, this, that, for money rituals. Explain to me, like I'm five years old in the comment section, what you think a teenager needs billions for that will make you have such mind to orchestrate to buy somebody else to make the money. What are you trying to prove? Guys, what do you think about this? I can't even imagine it kind of news. How many weeks ago here, still a Yoruba boy that, that kidnapped a, a girl from school, kidnapped the girl that she thought is her friend, called for ransom after buying her, still asked for her ransom from her mother. The Syria buyer, the Syria buyer guy that we talked about a few weeks ago, Yoruba boy, the same pattern. The same pattern, this one too, the same thing. This one too, mix codeine and uh, soft drink for the girl. She became weak, he strangled her. Strangled her and then demanded, still called for 10 million ransom. He wants to be a millionaire by all means. You call for, he still called her people for ransom. Still buy her, cut off her body parts, put inside calabash, way bill and give her driver to Ibadan. Where is Ibadan? Yoruba part of Nigeria too. Not supporting any of this nonsense, but you see, when they come online and shout, oh, it's only the Igbos, the Igbos are the only problem Nigeria has, the Igbos are the only ones committing all the problems in Nigeria. The Igbos are this and a lot of people of course run with the narrative. I don't, I'm not here to prove anything to anybody. I'm just trying to let people understand. The bandits, Boko Haram, this, that, houses, right? Nothing else. Kidnapping, uh, 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 buying people for rituals like is, is, is Indomie they want to cook every day and eat. Yorubas. Yahoo, Yahoo, prostitution, this one, that one, Igbos, wickedness, is where you hear that an Igbo, this person has maltreated another person, picking where they with them as help, leave them for Igbos. When all those men, where they abuse uh, family members, go come one dictate waiting, go happen for your marriage and this and this and that, you bomb boy, you know, bomb girl, you must do this, you must do that. Leave them for Igbos. Everybody share them. But they want to, the whole world to believe it's only Igbos that are doing every atrocity that is being committed. This one now is another Yoruba boy, you, another Yoruba boy too. Doing another thing, the same thing they said the Empire Yoruba boy did two weeks ago. It doesn't matter the tribe, whether Ibu, Hausa, Ijo, Yoruba, Ifik, wherever it is, Nigerians. It doesn't matter which tribe. You are Nigerian, that is why they bore me. Because no matter how much you want to live a decent life, you want to live a contented life, you want to obey the law and all that, you are a Nigerian. So whenever they are talking about Nigerians, they go, can't you join? So this is not a case of him being Yoruba or being Igbo or being Aosa. It's a case of being a Nigerian. Look at how he's looking, crying, dirty thing will never bath well. He never bath. This one with a stink. But he wants to be a billionaire. What does he want to use the money for? What does a teenager want to become a billionaire for? Ah! Where are they rushing to? Eh? Hey? 
a lot of foundations where you know you see when you are building eh? when you are building a house and the foundation is messed up that house you know get how you go build and make it day well foundation is the main thing that holds a good house that holds a house to last when you mistake when you make a mistake in the foundation i'm sorry for you Nigerian parents need to do better. Nigerian families need to do better. Hey! It is getting out of hand. Nigerian parents are most majority of the time they are the cause of this low self-esteem. They raise their kids, damage them from childhood, compare them make them lose confidence in themselves, make them feel like they need to prove something to be loved. They need to prove something to be shown care. They need to prove something before they can get attention. Making them feel that you must, by all means, no matter what it takes, bring something home. They don't set these kids well. They don't raise them with the best morals. They don't teach them humanity. Of course, they, don't. they lack humanity themselves. So how can you teach your kid what you don't even know? They raise this, they, they give birth to these children and from childhood already, they are seeing these things. They are not saying anything. They don't teach them the, the, that humanity first. They don't teach them empathy. They don't teach them kindness. They are so mean and disrespectful to their children and they grow up with that pattern, thinking it's normal. So they get disrespectful to everybody they come across. They get mean and wicked to everybody they come across. They lack love. They lack care that they are ready to take away whatever it is that is making you smile. As far as you can feel as miserable as they feel, then there will be peace. Nigerian parents, you people should do better. Our generation of parents should do better. And that the, the millennial, uh, well, I'm, I'm not saying, the Gen Z parents, you people, when is your time? Do better. We know that your parents have failed. But you as an adult should unlearn a lot of things and relearn how to get it right. It's never too late to turn back when you've gone far and know you're on the wrong road. You're on the wrong route. You turn back. Turn back, find the right route, right? When you are going somewhere and your navigator has shown you that, oh, you have missed the way, what do you do? Do you continue going where you were not going to before? No, you have to turn back and get to follow the right route to your destination, right? That is a very simple thing in life. Use your common sense. It's not everything that you, that you, uh, you saw growing up that you have to follow and still recycle with your children and children's children, no. I personally unlearned so many things and I relearned so many things and that is why, why I'm raising better children than I was as a child. Everybody can do that. It's a bragging right, honey. I unlearned, relearned and now I'm teaching my kids to do better. You buy a phone, right? From time to time, your applications will request for updates, isn't it? Yeah, everybody, you're, you're, even you, Kraus, sometimes you feel the urge to replace uh, your phone or maybe, yeah, if your phone spoils or your laptop spoils, do you continue to use it like that? Maybe you, they get rid of it and buy another one, right? So why is it that you want to maintain the same archaic mentality you were born with forever? Meanwhile, you have changed, maybe as you they grow, you they change your size of clothes, you they change your size of footwear, you they change your size of undies, right? Because you are growing. So this the size you were wearing before, you know be your size again. So you have to replace, uh, upgrade, right? So why is it that you Nigerians know they upgrade their own mentality, their brain, they know what upgrade them, they just upgrade iPhone 16 Pro Max is out, you see them peer, they order. With the same brain they were using 40 years ago. They don't want to learn anything better. They don't want to upgrade their own brain. They don't want to upgrade their sense of reasoning. 
You want to maintain a, an archaic sense of reasoning, but you keep you, you keep updating applications on your phone. You keep upgrading your phone, your life, your status. No, now that's not cool. So you people have to start updating and upgrading your brain. Read, study, research for crying out loud. Learn, learn, learn from people, learn from people that are getting it right, learn from, read books, make researches, learn, 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 ah, learn how to better yourself. Read, read. They don't like reading, they don't have patience to read. They want everything, anything faster, no patience. The people that don't obey traffic, traffic lights, cry. People that cannot wait for traffic light to count to, to count to green before they move. Are they the people that will sit down to start reading knowledge books that will add to their knowledge? You see? The quest to make money. To do what exactly? Look at how dirty this boy is looking. But he wants to be a billionaire by all means. So innocent girl that trusted him now as a friend, eh? Innocent girl that thought that, oh, I've gotten a new friend has gone because you, you see a girl a, the first thing in your mind is how to use her how to break her heart how to take away her happiness how to use her for money ritual how to rip her how to buy her that is the first thing that comes to an average nigerian man's mind and it is very disturbing it is very disturbing that the, the girl child is not safe in that country it's the fact that the girl child, from the moment she's born, from the moment she's created, she's an object. She's a target. She's already a victim. This should stop. Nobody said you people should not use your babalawa and make your money that you cannot make legally, but use your body parts. Stop buying our girl children. Stop buying our girls. Stop buying our women. In the name of rituals. Human is human. You people should find rituals that will use your own body parts for it. Use your only the one on your body. Don't go and harm anybody else in the name of making money. Common sense should tell you that this money that you need to make, that you need to harm somebody else before you make it, is not even a genuine money. But no, they don't have common sense. You want to make money, you babalawo, you people, is the, the thunder that will fire all these babalawos, eh? He's still doing press up in Kumasi. Because if you, as a Babalawo, cannot use your body parts or use their own body parts to make money for them, then you should just go and go and disappear and buy. You're not supposed to even exist. Since you want to be more powerful than God that made heaven and earth, then you have to have the power to use, even if it's their clothes, even if it's their body parts, if it's their hair. Anybody that wants to make money, use their own body part to make the money for them. You see that this ritual buyings will reduce. But no, you give them the impression that they must buy one innocent girl somewhere or one innocent woman somewhere before they can make money. Every woman is a target in Nigeria. Every woman is a target in Africa. Are they? What is going on? How long do we have to keep quiet and then, yes, the news will come and will react to it. On to the next, it's every week, week in, week out, news of girls, missing girls, buying every time. And nobody is doing anything about it. That is the most annoying part of it all. I beg you people should be using your own body parts. I didn't say don't, I can't tell you not to do your money ritual. Continue. See, it's the only way you can make money. Continue, but please stop buying our women. Use your own brocos, use your brain. You, you have kidney, everybody has kidney. The only difference is that the women has boobs, Abby, and uh, boobs way grow big, and the bum bum way bigger. Some men these days say, get bum bum past women. There is prick, and then there is vagina. Use your prick, all our private parts. Leave our girls alone and stop buying our girls. If you need any other part of the body, you have the same parts that every girl has. So use your own and do your ritual. Leave our girls alone. You should stop killing our girls. Enough is enough. You people do these things and, and always getting away with it. That is why you have the audacity to want to go into another person's country and go and continue it there. It's a very shameful thing. Nigerian government needs to sit up because this thing has become a... You... We, 
Nowhere is safe again. Nowhere is safe. So, uh, team hookup people, are you people still going to say this one now is a hookup? Did the girl go for hookup? Because when these things started, instead of apprehending the, 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 the guys that did this and making them face the law, you people were busy victim blaming the, the women that we applied. It became a pandemic, it's now everywhere. If the first people that were doing it were made to face the law, it wouldn't have escalated like this. That even from adults, now teenagers are doing it. Small, small boys are doing it. They want to make money, to show off, finish, or blah. They want to make money, no, money that you don't even know how to invest, money you don't know how to use, money you don't even know how. Nigerian government. Let me remind you, Nigerian politicians, when they finish buying poor citizens, you are the ones they will start buying. Your girl, your daughters, your sons, your, your wives, they will start buying them. Maybe you, think, you people think you are untouchable. When the poor finish chopping the poor and there's nothing else to chop, they will start chopping the rich. Make on a mind there. Guys, what do you think about this mess? What do you think about this ritual killing? What do you think should be done for this thing to stop? Because now it's not only Nigeria. It is happening everywhere. It's happening in Ghana. It's happening in Ivory Coast. It's happening everywhere in Africa. Let me know in the comment section what you think is the best way to make this ritual buy-ins stop. I love, I love to read from you. Thank you.